Hi everybody. Hi everybody. Happy lunch time. Happy lunch time. How are you? How are you? Uh, one of my chili pepper stem broke. So I'm going to be using these chili. We have some green one and red ones. We'll be using this for the dal. Guys, I'm about to chunky some dal on the fire side and then I will cook some squash and um, um, grill some chicken. But I said, let me get on here live and um, chunky some dal with y'all, okay? Let me know in the comments how you like to chunky your dal. I'm doing it a little different, a little bit, a little ways that I learned from uh, uh, Shanti Trula Queen from Trinidad. Big shout out to Shanti, big shout out to Shanti. This is one way that I learned from her and also Raina. And she learned it from Shanti as well. So I have one okra right now on the tree. Is it one or two? I think it's one big one and one little one. So we'll cut that down and we will use that for our um, dal. You see it here, guys? Look how nice and big. This is a Guyanese okra. And type is a long, long one that grows so long and a whitish color. Uh, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just pick some of this. Ah, uh, you gotta wring it a little bit. And check out my black peppers. These are black peppers that we need to pick as well. All right, so I finally got it off. It's easier if you get a scissors or a knife to cut it off. And this one is a little young one here, but it's like curling up. Maybe I should pick it. Uh, let's go ahead and pick that one as well. Uh, because uh, it might not grow much or anything. All right. Okay, so let's go downstairs. I have the fire going and I'm also burning some wood uh, Burning some wood to do some grilling at chicken. It's such a nice day here today That I want to come on and show you guys some sunshine and check out this leaf of life and all the flowers It's like a chandelier flowers. I think that's one of the names they call it But it's the leaf of life check it out the leaf of life that's giving flowers and I want you to start to see the beginning of it because it'll be here for months and months and uh, look bigger and more beautiful as it get um, a little older as well. Oh. I'll put I'll on my... a little nonstick. Mm -hmm. And uh, here, let's put on some chicken. There's some small pieces, big pieces. I like cook nice and slow on here. Mm -mm. Sandra loves your fireside setup. Oh, look, I'm using my fireside setup to grill chicken and do all sort of stuff, man. She improvises. Yeah. <laughs> There's such mixed pieces I put in there, sorry. I, <laughs> I put a tiny one, big one, and a medium one. <sighs> so I will let it cook nice and slow here and what I have right now I'm going to get another grill and cover this I get a piece of wood to cover this actually let me just get this wood right here and, um, I let the chicken start to grill man how many how many I should go ahead and cook them. Well, ask them. They want to Guys, stay on. you want to stay on? Let me go ahead and cook. I don't want to waste your time. She was going to get off and then cook the chicken and just video it. But if you want her to stay on, say yes or no. Um, real quick, if you guys want to tune off and then we'll just video it, tell her. Yeah, I don't want to take everybody's time. The dal is finished. Come show everybody the dal over here. Ah, nice dal, nice dal. We all would literally... Um, just live on doll. Mm -hmm. And like I said, I make this doll more like a meal by itself. So you can have it by itself. You can just put a little bit of rice in it if you want. And have it by itself. It's so good. And uh, Thank you so much. People are asking how I'm feeling. Yes, it's, you know, it comes and goes and it's gone right now. So I'm very grateful uh, to be comfortable right now. And, you know, the body is a mystery. <laughs> but I'm feeling much better today. Thank you so very, very much for all the good energy. 
and Sandy's are, healthy are food. Are they going to stay on? I, did, I can't. I didn't look, actually. Sandy, okay, sorry. here, they'll cook. Let's check here. All right, guys. So, you know, since you're here, we'll go ahead and cook. Um, this is uh, this is some nice pepper, Auntie Sheila, from Joy's Roti Delight, uh, given to me because I'll go buy pepper and nothing has had this that much flavor. So she said these peppers are really good. So I, I asked, I I um I will take it to plant for the seeds. I can't eat much spicy, so I don't really use the seeds. I use just the the meat of the pepper or the skin or whatever. Um, so far they're saying stay on. Yeah. So. When they get tired, I guess they'll tell us to turn oh, off. Thank you, thank you guys. Um, uh, thank you, Devika. Let's go ahead and cook. I will just cook this. Oh my gosh, I know John. I know John is very hungry. And Debbie says, definitely. Uh, Nicole says, Chapman says, Hi Sandy, I was at the market. Oh, that, you read that one already. <laughs> please, please. Uh, let's see over here. Um, so, Sandy, always cook a girl, never gets tired to me, dear. Tommy's is always by your side. Thank you. This is Naz Ali. Oh, you can ask. thank you, thank you. Love the way you cook. This is Debbie, and you season, and seasoning your meat tastes better. Mmm, nice. I love it. I love it. I see that's just that chicken is just cooking slowly over there, and I have a nice um. I made I made a, a delicious rub here to go with it with some jerk jerk seasoning and uh, seasoning from around the garden. So we'll put this when we're ready. Well, that smells really nice in there, Sam. I mm -hmm. didn't see you put that together. Um, Mary says, definitely stay on. Elisa says, stay on. Christina says, stay on. Lisa Abbasale. Hi, Lisa. I love Lisa. I love all the Lisa's. Stay on. <laughs> um, Donna's, yes. Deborah, yes. Marianne, yes. Sandra, so, yes. What I have here is some raw jeera. I'm putting in there to toast a little bit. And um, I'm making the squash and eros a little curry style. Uh, John wanted to curry style. The last two times I made it, I made it stew style. He says, "Mommy, let's try curry." So I'm doing it curry style. Then put your pockets in that outfit. No. Oh. That's how it is. <laughs> so cute. They're loving it. Yes. Yeah. It looks like the ones that they hold outside and then fly. Yeah. And they jump off the the cliffs. Right. Right. Uh, so many people sending nice loves to me. Christina says, stay on. Well, the, uh, Sony says, I on. Uh, Nyoka, stay on. I'm working so you guys keep me company. Oh, no, oh. Nokia Farah. Hi, Nokia. Where are you working, Nokia? Thank you, Reina. Uh, Mary, da da looks great. Uh, oh. Tommy drinks some doll. Yes, oh. I'm going to have some doll later. Uh, that's my favorite. I'm opening it a little bit. It's looking good, the chicken. Uh, so what we have here now, my friends, uh, I have some curry leaves. Yeah. Some curry leaves. And one of the best for them to see. Them. And for it. I have the curry leaves and raw jeera or cumin in there. I'll put some onions. Uh, they're asking about your marinade again. Your what you you came up with your garlic and oh yeah, oh my gosh, the marinade is really good. But let me just um, pour this in here so it's time to cook. Uh -huh. Put some water in the masala and the curry and some nice jeera. Too much water now. Look at that. Uh, Krishna, Krishna says, outdoor cooking. Wow, back to nature. Love the dal and the moringa leaves. My favorite as always. Your cooking is always mouth-watering. Ooh la la. Oh, thank you, thank you. Uh, let me see, where's Mike? Oh. 
see all these guys. Those are the They'll cook them on a nice low smoke heat. Uh, Tatarini saying you have beautiful weather today, Sandy. Very nice, very nice weather. Oh, come here. Let me show you the fire over here, guys. And what I'm going to put in this, uh, what I have here is some nice fried eggs to put in the squash and edos. I'm, and these are farmer's eggs from the Redlands as well. So I have this to put in my edo and squash curry. Or, uh, oh, thank you all for all the names you, all the different names that you say the squash is called, uh, calabash, loki, and so many others like the one, what they say in Sornam. What they say in also Fiji. I love it. Sandy, you're driving them crazy with your outfit. They want to know if it's a dress or pants. It's a pants jumpsuit like. I know, right? So it's like a pant. <laughs> you know, like crazy. It's, it's like a pant. It's a pants, but there's no pocket. Uh, it, it really is nice. It's an Indian outfit, and I love it. It's so comfortable. It's like cotton. Uh, and then she's got her anklet on with her, her keys theme. <laughs> Look how nice this is cooking up. Let's check it out. See, I'm cooking on one side. I'm smoking and grilling chicken on the other. Sylvie saying, Sandy, please stay on. They're loving the cooking. Oh, thank you. I'm glad. I'm glad. All right, let's put garlic and pepper. I didn't put garlic, right? I don't think I did. No. And I'll put some green seasoning mixture. And what I blend up here is just some celery, bandania, or the shadow benny, also known as the culantro, and um, a thyme. Now I'm going to put in the squash and the edos together. If your squash um, has a lot of water, you might want to check the edos because it might finish faster than the squash. I don't want it to mash up. Well, at least for me. Mioka said, thanks for the great ideas. When she goes home, she has always something new to try. <laughs> definitely, definitely. Gaitri said she had squash and roti yesterday. And they had lots of rain today, so they're... Oh, we need the rain, my friends. We need the rain. The garden needs the rain. Ah, as a matter of fact, let me throw some of this into the flowers. I have to water when I'm done. Luki, Pooh, and Tia, Taya are saying hello. All right, so I'm going to close this back here, guys, to keep the heat. Oh, they're saying these are duty pants, Sandy. Doti. Doti. Doti pan. Yeah, yeah. Our great, our grandparents type time. That's why I fell in love with it. She had to give it to me. She, she, she saw how I love it and she know I love, appreciate it. I wore it so many times already. <laughs> Shireen says, Sandy, it's multi cooking. I'm loving it. <laughs> I chunked the dollar already. Rice is finished upstairs. Um, let me tell you, I think John is going through teenage life right now, okay? He, he's a late bloomer because the kid is eating non-stop and he loves squash. And when I tell him I'm going to put arrows in it, he was so happy. He said, wow, yay, yay, arrows. I'm going to uh, wipe the screen real quick. I think some of the steam gun on it. Sorry about that. Thank you, guys. Uh, Rana, Rana says, I have a lot of uh, Doti model pants. Yes, yes. I'll get some more like this too if I find it. So everything is in here. It's cooking. In a little bit, we'll put the... Oh, in a little bit, we'll put the... When it's finished, I'll put the eggs. And... Um, oops. 
Hi Parvati, how are you watching from Sunrise, Florida? Big love, big love going out to Sunrise, Florida. We also have Princess Shelly's in the house. It said raining in New Jersey. Is that what you just read? Mm. Hi, hi. Let me see. Um, Rishma, hi Rishma. Welcome, welcome. Uh, let's check on our chicken now, guys. Let's see the chicken. Oh, look how it's hard to look at the color already, guys. Look at that. Wow. So nice that's looking. Wow. Remember, this is a jerk style. And uh, let me put some of this um, sauce on it, guys. Let me put some of that sauce on it right now. Don't let this fall down. Okay. Okay. And this mixture is um, garlic, onions, uh, rose, smoked paprika, uh, and um, salt and pepper to taste, hot pepper to taste, and also uh, rosemary. Rosemary. A uh, young lady from Sadicity, New York, is asking, did you steam the chicken first or just put it on raw? No, put it on raw. That's why I'm putting it on a low heat, guys, on a low heat. And these chicken here, they cook very fast. They're not like the yard fowl or anything. So. Yes, Serene, I'm a very lucky person. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, that's just blazing up because of the, the oil. Sprinkle some water. Gone. That's what you call a nice smoked chicken, smoked grilled chicken. Tell them how you're putting down the flames lately. Oh, I'm just lightly sprinkling some water on it just to take away the flame. And that smoke is really nice for it as well. The day is nice here. A quick peek outside. The banana trees are doing good. John has a squash plant coming up in the middle of the yard, so he just put some uh, cow mole on it to help it grow faster. And Sandy's moringa tree is full of blossoms there. I will show them this, the golden apples. Oh, oh, the golden, oh the golden apples are, this is a little tree and it's just, every time, her, all her trees bust out so many um, golden apples. I like the young ones, like this size, just to eat straight through with a little salt and pepper. This little tree's loaded, right? And you guys know these. Maybe you pull this off and you suck the honey out of it. That was my childhood treat. And the yard's looking good. Look at that chicken. I put some sauce on top and then and then I'll put the sauce on the bottom. See this part is already pretty much cooked. This half of it is already cooked. Now I put the other half and another another ten minutes, like ten minutes on each side, and um, it should be finished. Some pieces are bigger and some pieces are smaller. But you see how nice coals? And uh, these are all wood coals that I uh, that I burn down there. Sheena, how are you? Sit. Yeah. Let's check on this guy. See, it's to boil. Oh, this is going to be good. I love, um, I love squash curries. See the edos? Nice 
nice breeze today, huh? Yeah, nice, nice. Everything is looking good. Everything is picking up nicely. Jean Morales is in the house. Hi, Jean. <laughs> Jean Morales. Hi, Jean. Hi, Jean. Dolly's saying the chicken's looking delicious. Oh, man. And you know what? Um, you no, know, if you want, you can put a little um, barbecue sauce if you want it barbecue style. But one other time, I'll make barbecue style. I'll make a bunch of barbecue style for my neighbors and so on. I didn't take out enough chicken when we decided to do this. So I just have those four pieces. Still, it, um, it's only one person over there actually will eat um, meat. But, yeah. She's vegetarian and on a strict diet. She, she She's on a strict diet. And so we have enough. We still have enough to share. Oh, someone just said roast some corn. You actually just bought some corn yeah, to roast. Yeah, yeah. I have corn. I have um, bygan to make some bygan choka. Sandy, that's calabash squash in there, right? They're yes. asking. Yeah, this is calabash squash, guys. You see, it's, it's losing its own water. Good afternoon, Mike and Auntie Sandy. It's Nikki and family saying hello. Oh, Nikki and family? Yeah. Oh, hi, Nikki and family. How are you? Let me know when you're coming to Florida, man. When, let me know. Oh, he's a just, I've never eaten his food, but just looking at him cook and just looking at his food, I know it's good. I can't wait to hang on. He, he seems like so much fun, he and his family. Nikki and, and Nikki's family, yes. right? On social media. I'm not going to put any, should I put more fire? Maybe a little bit more. <laughs> so, uh, cool, they love calabash, yes. Look, guys, uh, Vicky look. saying hi. I don't know if you can see better, maybe this way. See some light coming through there. Look how nice everything is looking. Okay, see? It's always cooking up nice. Love it. Uh, Kathleen shouting out from New Jersey. Vicky saying hi from Trinidad. And then oh! Golly saying hello Oh my hello gosh, from I lost Suriname. the chicken. That's right, it is. Okay, put it on the coals. Put it on this side. Jeez. Just got to brush it off, guys. Just got to brush it off. Three second rule. The heat cooking in. So the flames are looking nice here, Sam. Let me uh, brush it off. I think Vicky family's saying thank you. Guys, look, it fell on this wood, okay? There we go. <laughs> this little piece should be finished already. Let me come around this way, get some light. Can you see some light there, Tommy? Yeah, yeah, this is good. Looking good, right? Mm-hmm. So this piece here is going to be the quickest piece because it's the smallest. So I'll, I'll get, let it cook for another maybe four minutes. These pieces here, I'll let it cook maybe another six minutes each. And this one here, another ten minutes, the bigger one. Joy says, thanks for keeping her company at work. She's getting hungry, but she's still enjoying it. And Princess says, Sandy, could I please come over for some food? <laughs> princess, where are you living? And she's loving your beautiful garden. Where are you living, Princess? Uh, Dupati says, hi, Sandy, looking delicious. Um. Um. Nicole's uh, Trinidad in the house. Do party, do party. Yes. So I know you guys gotta go. Thanks again. Thanks again. I'm gonna let this cook down here. Um, the squash, and then I'll put in the eggs. Sabrina's saying she just cooked some squash and salted beef, and she's in Trinidad. Oh wow! Salted beef and squash is nice. And what I'm making here for our friends who are getting on, this is just edo and squash curry or curry squash and arrows and um, I have some eggs as well some eggs as well to go with it let me do a quick wipe guys because of steam <laughs> all right when I sit on the stove um 
Gilly, I think it's Gilly it's from Sornam. Hi, Gilly. Uh, Laila, hi, Laila. How are you from Trinidad? From Trinidad, big love, big love. We also have Bibi. Um, enjoy cooking. Thank you, thank you, Bibi. Look, I also enjoy look at cooking. Look the sun for a minute. Walk out the sun for a second. No, Zana, son, your outfit would be so pretty in the uh, sunshine. Oh, okay. She's in the shade. I want to see Sandy brighten up. There she goes. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I know. The colors now all come out. Okay. Now, now it is in the sun. It is nice, nice and warm today. Nice and warm. Mm, now we have to go exercise. Mm -hmm. Sandy, um, Kessina, Kessina is saying, when do you add the eggs? Um, I will add the eggs when it's pretty much finished. The eggs is already cooked. Actually, I can add it now because boiled eggs it can't overboil. I can add it now, and whenever the squash is soft and the the edos, it's pretty much finished as well. The curry. And they should know she didn't steam the kitchen, just the chicken first. No, I didn't. I put it just like that on the grill. Just I like know my grandmother would steam chicken, but that's only when she was cooking for like twenty or thirty of us, just to make it faster on the oven. Yeah, you see, like look, look and see. Let me show you what I'm doing, my technique, and it's not boring. You see, I put it on a very low heat. And um, and and these are chicken. These are not the like I said. This is not a yard chicken, so it's a little bit t more tender. And look, you see, it's not boiling or anything. I don't know if you can see, but you see how nice it's cooking. You see that? Look at that. You see? Everything is just taking its time cooking on the heat. You don't want to rush the process. Look how nice that's looking, and it's cooking really, really hard. It's not boring, it's cooking slowly, so it'll be nice and juicy when it's finished. Layla saying she I loves never the place. really, only a few times in my life, I actually cook the chicken for us in the oven and then grill it, but I used to do that as well. But nowadays, like, the chicken takes such little time <coughs> on the grill. <coughs> Sorry. Still have the little cough here and there. Okay, so I put it in a, a little piece of tomato. Give it a little color. Johnny's upstairs doing some other stuff. He's always around. He's uh and now I'm putting in doing work for us too with our other businesses. Uh, putting in the eggs. For my vegan or vegetarian friends, uh, you don't have to put the eggs or anything in there. Ganda says um the fireside food is always the best, Auntie Sandy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I love cooking on the fireside. I love it. I grew up cooking on the fireside. Uh, it just brings back so much memories, and I like the smell of the wood. I like fire. What? I like fire. <laughs> uh, so you see, everything is in there that I need. Now I'll just close this up and uh, let it keep cooking. Babu is saying, Sandy, I do love your cooking. <laughs> Have a great day. Thank you, Babu. Thank, thank you, Babu. And thank you, Shireen. She's saying how much she enjoys the backyard. Thank you. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you. Yvette. Hi, Yvette Soros. Sandy, give a big hug and uh, blow a kiss to Yvette Soros. She's from Hong Kong. Oh, my goodness. Big love going out to Yvette. Hello, Hong Kong. Hello, Japan. I love it. Oh, I can't wait to come visit. I can't. Uh, John, John, that's one place John wants to visit as well. Princess says, I love squash and curry. It's looking so good. I don't want to win on last. I ate it. My mom is the best at cooking it, but I'd love to try yours. Oh, definitely, definitely. All right. So I'm doing my chicken like a nice smoked grilled chicken on the fireside. Yes. Nikki, family's back saying thank you for the love. <laughs> Every time, any time. Let's just show everybody one more last look. I don't know if you see better that way or... 
of our chicken and we'll say goodbye i know everybody's working and they're busy thank you so much for being part of us and please thank you so much for sharing our page and make us where we are today let's share this amazing vibe the different foods or culture this is one way to show the world you know i'm very thankful for social media and, and the power of it because i'm here for the better part of social media to help to bring everybody closer, to bring the world together, to bring food and culture to around the world. And that's what Sam is back here kitchen about. So thank you for hitting that share button. Okay, everybody and, right now click share. And then thank you for leaving a comment as well as well and your ideas and things. I love it. I've read so much of your ideas from this morning of um, local remedy for your cold or viruses that's going around, you know. And so thank you so much for taking the time and do that. Thank you so much. I read so many of you. Many of you get comments from me, right? So uh, stay amazing, everyone. And I thought we're going to show you one last look. So any, there, people are they're still questioning about the eggs. So you boil the egg, then you fry it, and then you add it. You could explain that. Yes, I? I just boil the eggs, and then when I took, I peeled it, and then I flash fried with, with a little bit of oil, uh, just to give it like this color here, you know, like that. I, in this way, it kind of takes on the sauces and so better. Um, and it's like you're eating a nice egg curry, you know. In this case, it's edos and squash as well. So then when we put it on my plate, <laughs> I split it open and I pour all the, 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 the sauce all over it. Yes, yes. <laughs> but look how good this is looking, huh? Edos is almost um, halfway done. Good, good. Yes, guys, my kidney stones are doing better. I did pass one, and the other one, I'm not sure what's happening with it, but I feel good right now. I can't believe he, he got kidney stones. Can you believe that? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> he says, Sandy, how it's supposed to be and how he describes it. I said, gosh, this has to be kidney stones. Um, my heart, <laughs> that's not a fun thing for anyone. No, no. Thank you for sharing your life with us, Sandy. Thank you, they're saying. Oh, oh. you're welcome, you're welcome. Okay, so a couple of the chicken here is finished. Um, I'm going to take down this one. Yeah, that one is finished. And throw this one over here too. I'm going to actually take, let me, one more minute. One more minute, I'm going to leave these two bigger, um, medium size. One more minute. I don't want to overcook it. I want it juicy and nice. Maybe you should tear a piece off and tell them how it tastes. Well, I don't have a knife or a fork, and so here. Oh. And uh, let me see. It here. Let me see. Here. Nariani says, "Cindy, you have such a beautiful family." I'll you know what? I'll cut it. Thank you, and, um, Do a little, little video. I'll cut it. I'll cut it and do a little video. Okay. Because I want it to sit. I don't want to. I don't have a proper knife or plate or anything. Okay. All right. Maybe I will. Maybe I will. Guys, let's cut one piece out of it, look. Ooh, look, that is, I don't have a fork. But look how juicy this is, if you look closely. Look at that. See, nice and juicy. I don't have a... It's okay, we have to cut out, but just okay. take a little piece. You're good. Let me try a piece. Yeah. Mmm, oh, so yummy. Mmm. Nice spice, oh, and it's chicken is juicy I love it this way I love it nice and grilled not overwhelming that's what I love about this like simple grilled chicken with a little bit of jerk seasoning for the spices and some garden herbs hey Cindy Molly is watching you while she's on vacation in Canada she says to say hello hmm? Molly's on vacation in Canada hmm. watching you while she's on her vacation hi Molly Molly Rambaran Hi Molly, thank you so much, thank you so much. Oh man, I want to eat um, more of this chicken. I think so. mm. Tell me, should I break it open? It's still so hot. It's too hot, it's too hot. Ah, 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 uh, ah. Sandy, thank you guys for sharing your recipes to the world. 
Um, they want to know what time, if you're going to be on in the morning, what time do you think? Oh, most of the time I get on in the morning, it was 6 in the morning or just after 6. <laughs> right. Thank you so much. Thank you. Stay amazing, everybody. And um, thank you for being part of us. Love you. The rule says drink cranberry juice. Okay. Yes, yes. Love you guys. Let me see. That is quite nice.